No, thank you so much, Scholastica, and thank you everyone for joining us today. It is always a pleasure to have you on board, and uh, we want to thank you for the continued support you have given us with UbiCoin and with the sessions. Indeed, it is a great honor to have you here. And today, as Scholastica has said, I want us to go through both practical and uh, theory session, uh, where I'm going to be taking you through what Ubrica means, what is the opportunity for Ubrica, what does it mean for you how do you benefit and how you can buy and uh, you can buy your coins from the market and without much further ado because I, I know today's class will be a bit long i'm going to share my screen so that you can see what i prepared for today and i'm going to share my uh, my powerpoint here so that we can see um um, I'll be using PowerPoint because I've realized that uh, when people are seeing, it's better than when I'm just talking. If you're seeing, you get to understand more uh, of what I am talking about. So this is an introduction class, a session rather, uh, where I'm introducing Ubercoin. So Ubercoin is for building capacity for life science and health production, and it is a global health project. So what is Ubercoin? Ubercoin is a cryptocurrency, meaning that it is a digital currency. It, it, it means that it, it does not have any, it's not physical, like something that is in your computers, in your, in your, in your phone, and it's not a physical currency, like the way we are used to our normal currency. We call them fiat currency, like Kenya shillings, dollars, euro, such. So Ubercoin is a digital currency. It is built on blockchain technology. When we talk about blockchain technology, we mean that it is very decentralized. And when we talk about decentralized, Ubercoin, everything that happens with Ubercoin, you can be able to see it in a public ledger called Etherscan. And Etherscan is a, a website where uh, all the transactions of Ubercoin. If today I were to send you one Ubercoin to the one Ubercoin to your wallet, we are going. Everyone in the world can be able to access that and see that indeed one Ubercoin was sent to you from my address. Then Ubercoin is also peer to peer, meaning that there is no middlemen uh, who are between me and you when when it comes to transactions. If I want to send you Ubercoin, we don't need authorization from anyone like a bank to, for me to send you the Ubercoin. And it doesn't matter where you are, if at all you're not even in next to me or in the country that I am in, it is very possible for you to get the Ubercoin wherever you are. And it is very cheap. Uh, we saw uh, sometimes back, we are looking at transactions that were made uh, sometimes back. Someone transfer, transferred $400 million dollars of, of, of a cryptocurrency and they were charged $2.5. It is that cheap that when you're transacting with cryptocurrencies and in this case, Ubercoin, it is very cheap to transfer the coins and the, uh, the transaction cost is very cheap compared to what we are used to when you're trans we are transferring fiat currencies. Then we have uh, Ubercoin is cryptographically protected, meaning that it is coded and it is very safe for you even to transact with each other. You don't need to worry whether your, your, your coins are safe. When they are in your phone, they are very safe and uh, no one can take them away or it cannot be hacked the, hacked the way we have seen before uh, uh, people hacking accounts. So Ubercoin is cryptographically protected. And then we have uh, Ubercoin has two functions. And this is how, in, in these two functions, is your opportunity to get involved. And I'm going to elaborate on that. So the first function is, the, is Ubercoin acts as a, has a commodity function, and then it has a utility function. In its commodity function, uh, Ubercoin can, uh, can do three things. It can be traded, and we have uh, different types of tr trading. And then we have basic trading, we have arbitrage trading and binary trading. The basic trading is basically buying and selling Ubercoins in the market. And when we talk about this market, which I am going to show you, I want you to remember that these markets are international, they are global. It's not that uh, the market that I'm going to show you is just in one particular place, but it 
is internet because it is in the cloud. It means in the internet, it means that it can be accessed by anyone and people who are trading there, they are not just here in Kenya or here in Africa, but they are everywhere in the world. So you need to keep that in mind that when you are trading uh, with Ubricoin, you are trading with even people who are not within your locality. Mm -hmm. And that is the beauty of it, that you are not limited uh, of where you, you stay or where you are, you can just trade because it is open to anyone. Then the other type of trading is arbitrage trading and Ubricoin also have this and it involves buying and selling Ubricoin in uh, the same market or in different markets where different markets have different prices. So you might find Ubricoin in one market has a, a, a lower price and in a different market it has a higher price. So that means you can buy in one market at the lower price and go and sell in the other market at a higher price and then you make a profit. So that is arbitrage, arbitrage trading and we usually use this when you want to make profit with Ubricoin. So you just go in one market, buy and then sell in another market and make your profit. Then finally, we have that type of trading, which is binary trading. Binary trading involves predictions. When you predict that the price of a certain coin is going to go up or it's going to go down, and when you're right, you get you get some profit for that. If you're wrong, you some money is taken away from you. So what happens is uh, you are listed in an exchange. Then in that exchange there is the movement of the coin and you, we have different things that uh, you can use to predict where the price of that coin is going to go. So if at all you, we are dealing now, because you are dealing with Ubricoin, you know that the price of Ubricoin in the next one hour is going to rise. So what you do, you just bet that the price is going to go up. When you, If you're right, you get some money. So that is binary trading and that is uh, usually done. We have seen this a lot with other currencies such as uh, dollars. And I know people who have been involved in, uh, in Forex trading, this is what they do. I know that you have seen even adverts in the in your, you know, in your social media, say talking about expert option, this is the binary trading, and we can move, we can even move Ubricoin to that level. But what we need to do at this particular time is to make sure that we have a lot of people doing the basic trading, so that the, you, we can have a lot of people having Ubricoin out there. Because for us to do binary trading, it means that Ubricoin price is very is 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 high and it's uh it's it's uh the ubicoin price is high and it is steady so that we can be able to uh, to uh, to know that uh, people can sorry let me just uh charge my laptop just give me a minute all right uh so as i was saying uh to make sure that uh the price of ubicoin is up we need a lot of holders of ubicoin so that we can move to the other level and uh in this commodity function of ubicoin we set aside 3.04 billion ubicoins that are will be used in facilitating the commodity function of Ubricoin. This is basically going to the exchanges, buying and selling Ubricoin and making sure that the price of Ubricoin is going up. So uh, then we have the power of Ubricoin and the power of Ubricoin lies in its utility function. We have said that we have two functions of Ubricoins. We have commodity function and the utility function. We have said that commodity function is whereby Ubricoin is traded in the market. Then we have the utility function, and this is the power of Ubricoin. And Ubricoin has three major opportunities in healthcare. I'm very sure that most of us here have interacted with the Kenyan healthcare system, and I'm very sure that you know that the, our healthcare system is very bad. I have had complaints from people that they wish they could change the healthcare in Kenya, and this is your opportunity to take part in changing the healthcare of uh, of of the healthcare here in Kenya. And Ubricoin can help solve this, uh, or can help uh, make. Uh, or change the situation here in Kenya. And the number one opportunity is to improve access to care. The number two opportunity is to improve quality of care. And the number three opportunity is to reduce high cost of care. Uh, so, Ubricoin, when Ubricoin was created, we had we have distributed Ubricoin uh, to support uh, 
these uh, the Ubrica project and Ubrica project. Remember, this Ubrica project started way before Ubrica started, and the whole idea or the vision of Ubrica is to, was to make sure that we achieve global health. And for uh, for Ubrica to support Ubrica project, we we set aside seventy six percent of the twenty billion Ubrica to go towards supporting the Ubrica projects, which are towards making sure that we have access to healthcare. We have access to quality of healthcare, and the healthcare that we, are, we have here in Kenya is of high quality. So we set aside 76% of the 20 billion, and then the 17%, of course, is for the community development. And when we talk about community development, it is the commodity function of Ubricoin that is that goes towards trading Ubricoin in the markets. So how does Ubricoin help in healthcare? How does the holders of Ubicoin gain if UBN succeed in solving these three major problems in healthcare? Number one, uh, towards, to improve the access, we have two types of access. We have realized access and physical access. The realized access to achieve this, we have Sokojanja. Sokojanja is, the, is a Ubrica project. This is an online retail store made here in Kenya, made by us here by Ubrica, uh, by Ubrican, to make sure that people have somewhere to take their products to. Like if at all you have some products you are making, you have services, but you do not have market. This is the market for you. Soko Janja is an online retail store, making sure that local people have market, an international and a local market for their products. So the only thing that you need to do is reach out to us. We list you on Soko Janja and you have a place to sell your product. So we set aside 3.0 to billion UBN to make sure that Soko Janja is intact, it's running and it's working and we are making, you are, we are helping our people to find a market for their products. Then we have the other type of access that is physical access. And towards solving the, uh, towards physical access, we make URCC, we know that people can, can have money, yes, but if at all we do not have hospitals to go to, uh, to, to, to get healthcare, it will, be, uh, it will be a challenge for us. But if at all we set aside some Ubri coins to facilitate building of Ubrica Retail Clinical Center, and this is not just like any other center or any other clinic, this clinic has an, a value addition uh, workshop, a retail store, and a clinic, making sure that all of these are put together so that the, uh, the quality of care in the, in the health, in that health, uh, in that clinic is of good quality and making sure that people do not have to choose whether to go to the market or to go to the hospital. They can do that in the same place. So we set aside 3.02 billion UBN to go towards supporting Ubrica Retail Clinical Center. Then we have to improve the quality of healthcare in Kenya. And to do this, we have to make sure that the knowledge in the universities is directed towards the villages, it's directed toward our markets, and it's directed towards uh, the hospitals. Because if at all we have knowledge in the university and it's not translated to what is found in the, uh, in the markets, it means that we have very poor quality of products, we have very poor quality of healthcare. But if at all we can take this knowledge to our hospitals, we are going to have quality of healthcare, quality of, of, of products that we can, uh, we can benefit from. Then the last project, the Ubrica project, project story is uh, the biomedical industrial city. The biomedical industrial city will make sure that the high cost of healthcare is reduced. And to reduce the high cost of healthcare, we have to make sure that we, we, we make our own biomedical products. We find that when we have we are importing products from elsewhere, the, the biomedical product becomes very expensive. But if at all, we could use the knowledge that we have here in Kenya to make our own biomedical product. Those are medicine and equipment. It will mean that the healthcare will be very affordable for us and it won't be of high, very high cost. So by these four projects, that is the Soko Janja, the URCC, the USTP, and the Biomedical City, these, all these goes towards supporting healthcare in Kenya, making sure that we do not complain again about our health, healthcare system. And you have a chance 
take part in the healthcare and building the healthcare system here in Kenya. So I wanted us to go through how other cryptocurrencies have been doing since they were made. And here we have two major cryptocurrencies that have been made before. We have Bitcoin. Bitcoin started when it was launched, it was zero dollars. But with time, you can see the graph has, it has had its highs and lows, but you can see as today, this is the price of Bitcoin today. It is 987,000 uh, uh, 9, 987, the price of Bitcoin today. What I want you to see from wh why I'm sharing the Bitcoin price, it's because Ubicoin is also a cryptocurrency and most of the time they follow the same, uh, the same curve or the same journey. And lucky for us, you can see here, Bitcoin took a lot of time or a lot of years to, uh, to be where it is now. Ubicoin is just one year and we have made tremendous uh, milestones. We have achieved uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of a lot of things making uh, the fact that we just started in 2018 December 2018 and at this time we are at the price that we are in it is very clear that Ubicoin is going far and the difference between Bitcoin and Ubicoin is the fact that Bitcoin does not have the utility function that Bitcoin does not support any project it's just another cryptocurrency it's just another currency just like Kenya shillings the, the only thing that you can do with Bitcoin is to transact, buying and selling things. But with Ubicoin, it is supporting a global health project, meaning that it has more power even than Bitcoin. So I, want to, I wanted to show you where the uh, Bitcoin came from. Then we have Ethereum. Ethereum is another cryptocurrency, and we built Ubicoin on Ethereum blockchain. And you can also see, unlike um, Bitcoin. Bitcoin laid a foundation for all other cryptocurrencies. And you can see, uh, unlike Bitcoin, Ethereum did not take as much uh, time uh, to get to a higher price like Bitcoin did, because there is already an awareness out there about cryptocurrencies. And today, the price of one Ethereum is 22,000 Kenya shillings. So then we come to, uh, you can see here we have 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019 to 2020 to, to come to 22,000 22, Kenya shillings. Then we have Ubicoin here. Ubicoin have been uh, making major milestones and you can see here, this is the price of, uh, of Ubricoin. Uh, sorry here, I, I, the, the others I did with Kenya shillings, but here we have dollars. But in Kenya shillings, this is 0 0.008608. This is the price of Ubricoin as per now. And you can see like the other graphs, the other graphs that I have shown you, Ubricoin is also taking the same the same uh the same route making uh it is started at zero but you can see it has been going up and with time we will see that the price will keep on rising and i want to support those people who have been uh, supporting ubricoin they are in the market people who are buying ubricoin because this is the uh this is the as a result of uh, your support, making sure that the price of Ubricoin is going up and it is keeping uh, steady at a higher price. And we said the, the peaks here means that there are people who came to the market, they bought a lot of Ubricoins, but there was no support in the market. That is where we're encouraging people to make sure that you bring people in the in the market to get UBNs so that if you bene we benefit, we benefit all of us. Uh, so, Ubicoin has been listed in different exchanges, and these exchanges are markets. These are markets where you can buy and sell Ubicoins. And in this market, we have Phoenix Box Exchange, we have Vida Flyer, and we have Bamboo Relay. And you can see uh, Phoenix Box is repeated five times, meaning that sorry let me just go back meaning that in one exchange you can find ubn trading with different coins meaning in phoenix box you can find ubn trading with usdt ubn trading in eth ubn trading in ltc ubn trading in btc and ubn trading in doge all these coins that i'm mentioning the usdt eth ltc btc and doge 
these are other coins in the market and these are just like the way we have more than one currency like we have dollars we have euros we have kenya shillings it is the same thing we have usdt ETH, we have wealth we have ltc btc and doge these are just the same and the same way you can exchange uh, your kenya shillings uh, to us dollars your euros to us dollars the, the same way you can exchange those coins, the currencies uh, is the same way you can exchange UBN for other coins. So these is uh, some of the calculations I did sometimes back of Ubricoin return in return in investment. And when we talk about return in, in on investment, we mean how do you profit from Ubricoin? And I want to give you a scenario. These are uh, these numbers I got these from CoinGecko. CoinGecko is not our website. CoinGecko is a website that has been developed by other people to make sure that they uh, track all the coins that are out there, to make sure that they, they keep a graph of what uh, the price, the price of, uh, in this case, Ubricoin, how the Ubricoin has been doing since it was launched. And I took prices from uh, different, um, from different days. This was Feb 1, 2020, and the price of one Ubri coin was 0 0.000179 Kenya shillings. And on 29th April 2020, the price of Ubri coin was 0 0.002874. So we are taking a scenario. If you bought on Feb 1, 2020, you could have bought Ubri coin in, with this price. If you sold the same Ubri coin on this day, on April 29, 2020, this is the profit that you, you would have made on that on this day. If you bought on Feb 2020 and sold on on 29, April 29, uh, 29, you would have made this profit. And since you can spend more than uh, 0 0.000179 Kenya shillings in the market, we are assuming what if if you bought 1 million UBNs in the same market. You bought in Feb 1, 2020, you bought 1 million UBNs. You would have spent 179 Kenya shillings, okay? And if you sold that 1 million UBN on 29th April, you have got 2,879. That is a profit of 2,695. And that is a, 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 a a profit gain of 1,505% just in one month. So let's assume that you could do more than 1 million Kenya shillings because I'm very sure that you could spend more than 179, 179 Kenya shillings. If you spend, for example, you spent 1,790 Kenya shillings, you bought on Feb 1, 2020 and sold on 29th April 2020, you would have, if you, you bought at that date, you would have spent 1,790 Kenya shillings. If you sold on this date, you would have made 28,950. And that is a profit of 26,950 in one month. This is what we are talking about. The power of Ubicoin and the power of cryptocurrencies in an exchange. You can actually gain a lot in a, in a, in a, a very short period of time. So I did the same calculation on a later date. We did uh, May 8, 2020 and May 11, 2020. Uh, from my graph, let me just show you. This is around here and here. This is when the price of Ubicoin went very uh, went up. And in my calculation, if you bought Ubicoin on May 8, 2020, you uh, one Ubicoin was going for 0 0.001124 Kenya shillings. So this is Kenya shillings. And if you sold uh, that Ubicoin on May 11, you would have sold one Ubicoin at 0 0.004486. And for one Ubricoin, you would have made a profit of 0 0.003362. If you, you bought uh, 1 million Ubricoins in the same exchange that day, you would have spent 1,124 Kenya shillings. And if you sold on May 11, you, you would have made 
4,486. That is a profit of 3,362, and that is 299% profit increase in three days. So this is, and if at all you, you even went ahead and bought more Uber coins here, let's say you bought uh, 10 million Uber coins, you would have made 33,620 profit in three days. This is the power of cryptocurrencies and in the market. All you need to know to do is learn how to do this. It's just learn how to trade in the market. If at all you have time, because and I know most of us here have time, you can just go to the market, study the market, which I'm going to show you, and make sure that you get to know about Ubricoin and how to trade Ubricoin. So uh, that is the, the introduction, the, the theory part of the class. Now I want us to go to uh, to the market a little bit so that I can show if you're new here how to go to the market. And going to the market means going to the exchange. And to the exchange, I can see I have seven minutes. I, I, I will try and uh, be fast on this. I know that you're going, if at all you don't get anything, you can just go ahead. We are going to share this, uh, this video on, uh, on our YouTube channel, so you will go ahead and repeat the video to get maybe what you missed in the video. So for you to get to the exchange, we said that we have two uh, major exchanges that we do. Let me just go to etherscan.io. We said etherscan.io is an, it's, a, it's a block explorer where you can see every activity of Ubricoin uh, since it was launched. So you want to go to etherscan.io and then you search for UBN on this search bar. When you search for UBN, when it pops, the drop down menu pops up, you click on it and it's going to take you to UBN page where you can see uh, the price of UBN, the number of UBNs that we created, the number of holders of UBN coins, and you can see the number of holders are uh, continue increasing. And then you can see people who are sending UBN coins to one from one address to the other. As I said, you can see there is someone here who sent one UBN from this uh, from this address to this address one day ago. So this is what we mean that you uh, the UBN coin and cryptocurrencies they are very transparent. You cannot hide anything from uh, from the cryptocurrencies. So what we need from here is the exchange. So you just need to click on the exchanges and these are the exchanges that Ubricoin has been listed to. Just go to the exchange that you want to go to. You can choose one. I will advise you start with, if you're new, you start with Phoenix Box. You just click here at the UBN ETH market. When you click there, it's going to take you directly to the market. And if at all you do not have an account, you just click here on register. You only need an email address and a password to register. They are going to send you an activation code to your email and then you just click on it to activate and then you'll be able to log in here. So I already have an account. So what I'll, I'll just do, I'll click on login. When I click on login, uh, we have an option here. You have to check this button, say that you're not a robot, and then you click on login. So when you click on login, it's going to take you to the default page of the exchange. But what I need you to do is just to go back to etherscan.io and click again on the UBN ETH market because it saves you the hassle of going to the exchange to search for the coin that you want to trade with. But when I click here on etherscan.io on UBN ETH, it takes me directly to the market that I want to go to. And this is where you tell in which market you're in. So if I told you want to buy some UB coins, this is your starting point. Etherscan.io, click on UBN ETH, and it's going to bring you to this market. And on this market, we have different things. We have this graph. This graph is just a, a graphical representation of the trade history of UBN. And then we have the data here of uh, trade history of UBN ETH market. Then we have people buying and selling Ubicoins here. So every action that is done on this side, it is recorded here. And if at all you want to know what is, if people are buying or selling Ubicoins, you can just check here. And you can see we have more buy, buys than sell. The, the, the greens are more than 
the red. So make sure that uh, uh, that is just to show you what is going on in the market. If you want to buy Ubri coins, you want to come here. You want to, we have sell orders. Sell orders are people who are selling Ubri coins in the market. And buy orders are people who are buying Ubri coins in the market. So if you want to buy, what you need to do, you just click on the topmost sell order here, the one that is written 0 0.000404, you click on it and then you say how many UBNs do you want to buy? I can I can try with 20 UBNs and then you just click on buy. Okay, I can't buy as low as 200, so let me just try. Uh, I can't buy 20, I can buy 200, just uh, type 200 and then click on buy and you can see order to buy UBN executed successfully and you will be able to see that you, the, the order will be uh, reflected on this side on the trade history but on the same time your UBNs will be plus 20 okay plus 200 UBNs your balance here because you can see UBN balance in the exchange is 31,367 if I refresh this you can see it has uh, my order has been filled here. You can see the 200 I just bought. So if you refresh this, it's going to show you that you bought some UBNs in the market. So basically, you can see now I have more than what I had. So basically, that is how to buy UBNs in the market. I've previously, I can see I have one minute. I have done videos on how to buy, a, a, a just a, a comprehensive video on how to buy in the UBN if market. So if at all you need that video, we can share it with you. The channel is the Ubrican. Just go to the Ubrican and you're going to get uh, the, the, the video and you can just go through it and see uh, that video. So I am not going to continue further than that. So I'm going to take this back to Scholar to finalize because I can see we do not have much time. Scholar sticker. Yes, thank you so much, Ms. Susan, uh, for that amazing uh, presentation on the both theory and practical session of the Ubercoin. I think we started a bit uh, late today. That's why maybe we've uh, got, we've run out of time a little bit um, uh, quicker, but it's because guys joined us a little bit late, but we are thankful. We were, how many participants of us? We were, we were 15 and now I see we are at nine, but nevertheless, thank you so much for your participation. I saw Madam Beatrice Marango, you had raised your hand up but we don't have time so we will definitely be addressing your issue tomorrow but nevertheless i just want to leave you with one thing that's from a software engineer kiran sheta who says every weight has a worth so every ubn weight has a worth so it is less than one minute i want to end it here and thank everyone once more for joining us